everyone. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from round three of the Galactic Championship. We are at Coruscant. We're going to crown a Galactic Champion this weekend. We'll find out who makes a top 32 cut tomorrow and uh, who, who's going to be our our Galactic Champion. Super excited about it. Today, I'm joined by my very good friend, Brian Farmer. That's right. Did you forget your name there for a second? Well, I thought you were going to say it. I didn't know that was the, the lead. You've done something different every time. That's right. I got you. That that's You got to be on your toes, man. Get those toes. <laughs> their beauty and their grace. It's Mr. G or Mrs. Galactic Champ. I can't. I kept trying to do a Miss USA thing. I couldn't think of a name. I had to do it. it. <laughs> It's fine. Anyway, uh, this round and all of our rounds are brought to you by Curl Paw Creatives. Use that coupon code Coruscant2020 for 20% off. All right, Ryan, break down the lists. All righty. <laughs> so we have on the left a good friend of mine, XY Lin, uh, running Drea with Swarm Tactics, Dorsal Turret, and Shield Upgrade, and one, two, three, four, five Cartel Spacers. Um, Three with uh, one with tractor beam, two with tractor beam, two with auto blasters, and one with heavy laser cannon. So, you know, Drea giving you those rerolls. We haven't seen her in the scum meta a lot, but she can be honestly really, really powerful. Uh, early 2.0, she did a lot of work. And then we have Drew Farian running Dengar with Fearless that doesn't work. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a second. Yep. Uh, Contraband Cybernetics, Punishing One, R5P8. Captain Nim with Ion Cannon Turret, Concussion Bomb, Seismic Charge, Havoc, Trajectory Simulator, and Boss with Zuckus, Forlom, Burrito, and Dead Man Switch. In theory, I really, really like this squad a lot. Unfortunately, that Fearless doesn't work. Dion, you want to break down why? Uh, yeah, so Fearless fearless doesn't work, and uh, Nick, just go ahead and delete the card. Just just, to, yeah, just take it out. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's a list-building mistake there by Drew. So the reason Fearless doesn't work, if you read the card text, it states that when you fire with a front arc, when you fire with a front arc weapon, the problem is that this Dengar doesn't have a front arc weapon. It has a turret that you can point to the front, and it comes down to the, the rules of iconography in X-Wing. Okay, so I'll go ahead and just read the, the card verbatim. So it says, um, while you perform a front arc primary attack. So right there in that first sentence, it tells you when you perform that front arc primary attack, uh, and then you get the, the ability to add that, uh, to change that blank to a hit, or change any result to a hit. Uh, Dengar doesn't have that. Now, if Dengar had equipped a cannon... Cannons are front arc attacks. Specifically, the one he would need would be either Ion Cannon. Uh, I think Ion Cannon, Auto Blaster would have been fine. I guess Tractor Beam would have been fine, but that would have been a little silly because you don't really do damage. Um, those would have been able to be used with Fearless, but because he only has the primary turret weapon uh, and Punishing One, that's what that does. Now, Punishing One does not give you a front arc weapon. It's not like the Moldy Crow that you see for the uh, Hawk 290. This is simply saying that when the turret is in the front arc, you get an additional die. Great breakdown there, Dion. Um... You notice that we have a little bit of a slant here on the bottom of the screen for XY's ships. He canted, I think, a bit on the on the opening approach, which is interesting. I, I'd love to hear at some point from him why he did that. That was intentional for tabletop sim, or if he just wants as he goes straight to angle towards the, the middle of the board. Um, we so also see XY. I don't know. Do you, I don't know if you remember. This is way back, but in, at the Australian System Open, XY with his uh, droid swarm purposely yeah. set them all at slight angles. Oh, nice. Great. Must be his play style then. Um, and he, uh, we see already Nim with the dropping in the concussion bomb there with trajectory simulator. Um, the, that's a new bomb, Dion, uh, that we just have received for uh, that. That's been showing up quite a bit in the meta so far. Oh, yeah. The concussion bomb. By the way, payouts did go out. The betting did happen. You missed it. You snoozed. You lost. Here we go. Concussion bomb bomb goes off. That Damn. is a damage card to the red, yellow, and green cartel oh, spacer. Man, that, that's just really rough for X Y there. Right on the right off the bat. He can choose to take a strain on each of those to avoid flipping those cards. Here we go. He's going to. Wow. 
Maybe this will be a quick game too. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All right. Here we go. We're getting into it. I mean, this is a this is a tough list target priority wise, right? Because Dengar, obviously, you don't want to shoot at him if you can help it. Bosk is really, really um, chunky and takes a minute to get down. And the Nim um, has all those bombs shooting again. So choosing who to go after first is is pretty rough. So Dengar is going after red on that front. I think that's an unobstructed shot, range three. And that'll be three hits. All right. So two will get through, loses the shield and another damage. Now Nim will go probably range three against that same one. He will get four dice now, though. Here we go. One, two, three dice thrown, one crit only. And easily evaded. Easy peasy. And then Bosk, this is the real... Uh... Oh, did Bosk already fire? No. Uh, must have. Oh, Sorry, maybe I, I was trying to deal with it. All right. One hit, two focuses. Becomes three hits. Hey, oh, you have, we have swarm tactics up. Sorry. Yeah, um, Drea yeah. has that swarm tactics up. So, so making that, that... Red will get to shoot first before getting toasted by Bosk, which is good. Okay. Did the, uh, the tractor beam... I wonder if he's going to pull them forward in order to have better shots from all the other ships. Yeah, seems like the correct choice. So now that storm tactic is really big because if he boss shoots red and kills him, it's not that big of a deal because he already got a chance to go, right? Yeah. I mean, it sucks to lose a ship, right? But he's done his thing. And it looks like he's reaching for a barrel roll to the left and forward. Mm-hmm. Now, Drew has the option to rotate. Um... I don't uh, think he will. Protein for, for a, a stress, but yeah, it doesn't look like he's going to do it. Drea starting range three, two hits. Only one nice. agility. Only one. Yeah. One. Reroll. Nothing. All right. Two so damage. I think has a really good chance to deal a lot of damage here to, to Nim. And he'll have an HLC shot from uh, Blue, don't forget, because that's why he did sure the barrel will. roll move. He barrel that's rolled right. to get that HLC active. Oh, my God, Bosk. Boss doing his thing. Crit, crit, crit. And that's one crit gets through. That'll be split into two damage. Doesn't I think actually that was on even, red, right? even need to. I just give him the crit. Insult to injury. Yeah, so red is dead, but did get to fire, which is big. Really big. And I think XY is the first player, Dion. Uh, looking at the coin, doesn't look like they actually set the... No, it Cause, is... Because he it's Drew. shot with his four before Bosk. Oh, man, this is just a so a really good roll. So this is into Nim, that HLC. He with those Dreary rerolls, so he's getting four with one evade. So three into Nim with that HLC. A great attack by Blue. Pop, pop, pop. Those extra pop, points. Pop, pop, pop. Burr, dur, 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 dur. <laughs> And then what else we got? This is a range two from. Can't see the color on this guy. And that's going to be one hit, has a focus. This is from green. That's just going to be two damage there, just laying them down. 
Yeah. Uh, he's How stacking much does Nim up... have left? Just two now, right? Or three? He's stacking up those cards. It's hard to see how many he has left. All the shields are down. I think he's got three health left. Yeah, I think he's got three health left. Yep. So this is auto blasters. Again, getting mm -hmm. that bullseye. Spending for three, that additional die in tractor. I think that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. So traded so Nim right off the rip, getting taken out. Traded twenty-eight points for sixty-six. That's a good trade. <laughs> That's a really good trade. That's and it looks like he's going to get a little bit into Bosk too. Additional die see the obstruction and two more sh two shields off of Bosk. This is uh, this is going down quickly. Now There's let's. I mean, remember he had to trade a ship for that and it, it, and. If you're going to lose a ship, yeah, losing Dim sucks there, right? But mm -hmm. you still got your heavy hitters. You got Bosk. Bosk is in a really good place to eviscerate another one of these things. So, and um, for XY, yellow and green have taken a damage card from that bomb, right? So you still, if you're, if you're Drew, have a shot to um, maybe take out two in this next round. But it's... We'll have to see how it goes. Um, Dion, if you are XY here, do you just one bank everyone in and just go after Bosk? Mm. Or what's your play, you think? I think, I mean, you can you can go after Bosk or Dengar. You have the numbers. One of the problems, I think, with the one bank is, I'm, just look, I'm looking at the angle right now for Brown. And you don't want to end up on that rock. Maybe you throw, maybe... Maybe you one bank everybody except Brown. You take the three bank with Brown to throw out a block. Try to take oh, away. That, a, that's interesting, right? Try to take away a token, and uh, and then you just take what you can get from there. Uh, yeah, really, it'll be really interesting to see the swarm tactics coming in big in this particular matchup mm -hmm. for Drea. Yeah, that tractor beam being able to be uh, put out first was absolutely crucial. massive. Honestly, absolutely crucial massive. Crucial there. And I want to like people watching. We look at how intelligently xy did his um you know the, the order of his shots on these cartels right mm -hmm. real veteran savvy move you you know you swarm tactics up red and then you did the hlc first then the auto blasters right but you left it so that your last ship brown would be the last person to fire so that if you killed nim you get that shot on bosk which did two shields Always make sure that you look at the order in which you're firing so that if you kill something, you eliminate something, you still have options available to you on the board. That's crucial. All righty. Just really quickly, uh, just, just to deal. address the betting, I am. Uh, I was looking into it. We did get an error message from the bot. So I tried to distribute the points from last round. We did miss the betting window during this turn, uh, during this round. So this is what we're, what we'll do. Instead of uh, instead of betting for the uh, the match, we're gonna do an over under, okay? And uh, Ryan, I'll let you set the line, okay? Oh, the oh, line! I love the, this. The line, okay. okay. Over, how okay. many how many ships will X Y have at the end of the game? When the game is over, how many ships will X Y have? Mm -hmm. The over under is one point five. One point five. The number's one point five. Over under has been started there. Uh, one point five. So that means if you pick two, you go for the over, and you can see the instructions there. So exclamation point bet, and then you type over under. Uh, Son of the Gypsy. This is all just for funsies, man. Uh, you don't have to participate, but there's no reason to rain on people's parade. All right. So. The uh, just to explain it again for the over under, if at, one, at a line of one point five, if you say under, you think X Y will only have one ship remaining at the end, uh, or one or zero. Um, mm -hmm. If you bet the over on one point five, two or more. I, I don't know if I'm good at setting lines. Maybe I should have said two point five, but I mean it doesn't. It doesn't hurt if that that just means that there's a you know if it ends up under, then that's a big payout because there's a lot of people going over. But there's 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 value in going for the under there. Yeah, here we'll we go. See. We, we're getting the swarm tactics check right yep. there, Andrea. We'll choose which ship wants to go. I think it's probably on... you're looking at green or yellow. I bet it's yellow. 
Yep, because that's the one where both Bosk and Dengar have a shot there. So that means yeah. that Yellow will be able to shoot. If he can, if Yellow can survive Dengar's shot here. Mm, oh. Oh, wow. I don't know. It's going to be rough, hard for Yellow. Hit crit goes one. through from Dengar. That's it. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. He still had the shield. shield he still yeah, had yeah, the shield. He still had the shield. So and if this is a direct. It's a fuel leak. But with only leak. one hole left, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so yeah, I, I saw the card the, there from yeah. the concussion bomb and was like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Bosk now could go for uh, go for yellow, but I think you end up – yeah, there we go. Go for green. You have the possibility yeah. on an alley-oop to get yourself a initiative kill. Right, exactly. Changes one That's to a crit with Greedo. Yep. Oh, both go through. Does he have a focus? You got to spend he it. He has a focus. Must. That, you got to spend that probably, right? Spend it or you die. He's just dead. He'd just be dead. Oh, he's forcing the Zuckus reroll or something, I think, right? No, he's Zuckus to keep him from um or, or Forlom. What what is it? It's Forlom, right? Sorry, I'm I'm excited. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. He use Forlom Forlom. to freeze the focus to kill so he couldn't spend it to kill green. Yep. So Forlom's ability is you can take two ions to select a green token that your opponent can't spend on the attack, which he just did. Therefore, green has now been killed by Bosk because he split that crit for three mm -hmm. damage with Bosk's ability. Pop, pop, pop. There we go. Wow, it was betting over, over, over. Now everyone's bet on everyone's taking yeah. the <laughs> <laughs> You cowards. You're all cowards. There's... <laughs> I mean, Bosk, Bosk can hit like a truck and you basically get one Forlom for free. Yeah, exactly. All right, so Yellow's still getting a good shot here. Four dice coming in. He gets the reroll with Drea. Don't mm -hmm. forget. Has a focus. Hit, hit, crit. Gets the evades. We're looking at a hit, crit going through. The crit was going to go through no matter what with the auto blaster, but Bosk has no agility. Blinded What's that pilot. Crit, you know? Blinded pilot is oh, the crit there. So no modifications of the dice. This includes Greedo. So Greedo is inactive until he can clear Blinded Pilot. Right. This Interesting. Also, yeah. Trail mix there, one of each. Reroll, two crits. Spending for three. Hit crit crit. Got nothing. Got the blank there. Wounded Pilot. Damage sensor array. Bosk just collapsing it's got four health left on that bosk man those things are chunky i forget now what is brown gonna do you gonna fire at dengar you think take that risk uh, does it get you you have an auto blaster shot uh i don't think so man yeah, I, I think you pass on the Dengar shot. I agree with you. So Nick putting out all, all the crit tokens over there, saying here's all the bad stuff that's happening right now. Wounded pilot, blinded pilot, damage sensor, array, all of them. Yeah, this ma this matchup is 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 a the I was definitely expecting explosions in this opening joust. Um, Nim and is getting absolutely delivered. annihilated. Has delivered. Right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and the, and the number of ships that X Y has uh, that brought to the table um, with the medium and large base ships, it's just 
right? They are largest, larger surface area. It's easy to uh, to push damage through there. It's easier to uh, to get those arcs on, especially. I have literally never seen ha uh, uh, on an M3A in second edition heavy laser cannon be effective. That was the first first one I've ever seen. <laughs> so well, yeah, it's because the added flexibility of well, and there are large bases here as well, but mm -hmm. it's that added flexibility of the um the tractor mechanics to tractor into that bullseye mm -hmm. yeah it's it's really really good now really quick uh nick can you do me a favor um could you add to the names of the m3as that are left their cannons just put like uh track ion hlc just do some abbreviations if you if you don't know how to do it i can do it myself All righty. Now, here's the question. It, it, XY is at 100. Drew yeah. at 70. So Drew's behind. Yep. Who do we actually think has the lead? You know, what I'm going to do is, even though this is not official choose your champion betting, I'm going to put a choose your champion poll up on the screen. Just type one or two in the chat to, uh, to, to who, who do you think has the edge here? It's really tough. I actually think that Drew, though he's behind, has a bit of an edge just because of the Dengar right here mm -hmm. um dengar's still really really good he's at full health great closing ship um if xy can uh if sorry if drew can get another one of these spacers off because these aren't full health right here like you have only three of these spacers are at full health one of them is hurting pretty bad um we'll have to see how it plays out because Bosk should, unless XY flies all these out of here, mm -hmm. Bosk could get one more shot, right? Right. And that would be really, really good for Drew. So Drew's probably looking at the board right now and being like, how can I get another shot with Bosk? Yeah, because, I mean, those those M3As are probably just 5 king this turn. They have the space. Very likely. Hmm. There's the first one. Yep, Exactly. Second. And Bosk has no way to stop that. Nope, nope. There it is. There it is. Now, of course, you can take Drea and try to uh, fill the gap there. Go for a block. Bosk is stopping. Uh-oh. Right. Oh! But the stop is nice because now he'll get a really, really nice shot into Drea. I mean, I think it was, it was hey, listen, I know my ship's probably yep. going to die. I'm going to get a shot. Yeah, he's no matter what, there's nothing XY can do to stop Boss from shooting at Drea here. Now remember, the Drea rerolls are going to still be active for those initiative ones as long as she's alive. I mean, she's pretty full on health. Yeah, she's yeah. completely untouched. Is that ability yeah, that's says, what that roll is for there. Give her some space. Mm -hmm. If the defender is in your firing arc, the attacker rolls one attack die. Drea is one of those abilities that can work yep. in as far as range six. <laughs> yeah totally from uh from your friendly ship it's really funny all right so we got that k turn from dengar to get the arc on going, going... after yellow the yeah. injured just has to get one through trail Prune. mix one of each he took the focus because of contraband cybernetics r5 p8 that's uh, hit, r5 hit. P8, right? yeah was that yeah yep, r5 a... you got P8. it yep that was, like, that was a guess. I totally got it right. You got it. You got it. Now he's baby. Myself. Here we go. And the one crit gets through. Car sure spacer does. gone. That'll be enough. That'll be enough to get that yellow. So the points are shifting now. 100 to that would be uh, 80, 80 something. Nick will kill kill yellow in a second here. But yeah, that's absolutely massive. There you go. 100 to 84. Now, Bosk trying to get some revenge. Range two. One hit. Cannot modify. Uh, no, can't do that. Can't turn it into a crit. With Greedo, he can't? And it's a modification. Oh, right. Yeah, blinded. Yep. So just one crit going through on her. She will lose one shield. Not what he likes to see, though. Very rough. Yep. But... Now, so Bosk is likely dead here.
Okay. And yeah, that also that it does also mean that he can't flip Greedo. So the Greedo right. is active on the other <laughs> side. Bosk is toast. Come on. I mean, you're right. He's toast. But remember earlier I said you want Dengar um, in an endgame, like, with, like, three... You want three of those ships down before Dengar attempts to solo? Mm-hmm. Um, I think that this is what you're looking... Uh, two and a half would be better, two and a half ships, but Dengar can... He's he's full. He's full up. Well, not... No, he's got two shields down, but he's out. Oh, this is going to hurt. All right, just the one. So Bosk is... Oh, that was... Sorry, I got my everything mixed up here. But regardless, Dengar's still in a good position here. And this should do it for Bosk, I think. Yep, but there's a big cascade here. I did I did click to the, the players and let them know about uh, the Greedo being active. They took care of it. Uh, yeah. While while Greedo is a May, the board state didn't reflect the because he it, <clears throat> Bosk had flipped it to do it the first time and didn't flip it back after we corrected right. it. Right. So that's totally. why that's the only reason why I brought it up to the players. Like, uh, hey. But we do have a dead man switch happening here, so that's going to be a sure do. Additional damage to, uh, well, one to Dengar, and then we have the blue M3A is going to be taking a, a damage. That's the HLC one. So you have blue and brown, you have auto blaster and HLC left. Oh, JD, thank you so much for your donation. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, fam. All right, we'll go ahead and confirm here on Dengar's health. Yes, Dengar has shields down. Tight matchup right now. We're on the edge of that over-under. <laughs> is betting still open for that or no? Uh, no, the betting is over. Betting is over. It was like a five-minute timer. It turned off automatically. I'm feeling a little bit better about that line I set. Yep, uh, 139 people uh, went in on the over-under. 102 put their points on the over. 37 oh. put it on the under. If it ends up under, that payout is huge. Oh, my That's goodness. A massive payout. My goodness. There's 885,000 points in the pot right now. <laughs> I love it. Mm -hmm. Now, Dengar would need to take out two ships for it to be the under. So Not not out of this realm of possibility though that's true that's true i mean dengar does hit hard here's the thing is with dengar's ability if, if you're not familiar with it um it reads after you defend if the attacker is in your front arc you may spend a charge to perform a bonus attack against the attacker so dengar potentially can have two attacks a turn those if you're at range one those are four dice attacks that can chew through your hole really really quickly dengar very very good do note, Contraband Cybernetics is used. Uh, yes, the Dead Man switch did go off uh, on on Bosk. So, yeah, Blue lost a shield there. Yes, excellent. Cool. Thanks for looking out, Robert. All right, we got a target lock there. From the blue spacer. Now I, I see I see the logic here going for the block. One yeah. of the things that it does stop is our, our 5PA is still active. So yep. Dengar will still be able to trade shots with the brown M3A. And the brown M brown M3A is auto blaster. And that means it does he does at least have a mod there. And Drew might be okay taking this exchange if Brown chooses to shoot. Mm hmm Dengar gets the first shot. I, th yep. I think it might be entirely dependent on if Dengar does damage. If, yeah, uh, absolutely. If... Ooh, Oof, rough I, roll. I don't think you spend the R5 P8 here. I think you hold on to it because you, yeah. you don't get those charges back. Yeah, rough roll. Range two. two Good hits. roll for Drea. 
And Dengar's going to be taking one. First yep. damage card. And then we're on the precipice of half. One more damage will be half on Dengar. Three dice attack for Auto Blaster because it's in the bullseye. Drea reroll. Has a focus. Or are you going to spend it, XY? Spend it. Aggression here. Two hits and a crit. All of them Oof. going through. All going through. Hit. 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 Crit. Dengar looking real rough. It's a fuel leak with two hell left. That means one more crit, and it's a dead Dengar. Dengar is going to retaliate. Flip that and charge. I mean Guess what those auto blasters do? <laughs> yeah, <Crit>. exactly. <laughs> oh, the same oh. He's going to use R5P8 one hit. He's just trying to dig for some damage. He's going to get one. He'll get one. He'll get the one. Somebody asking, is this the fastest recorded match ever? No, actually. I believe, was it Worlds, Ryan, where we had a match over in like, it was like 10 minutes? It was something, it was something super short. We, I, I remember there was a match that was like, <laughs> so fast. I had the fastest game of X I've ever played was done in like five minutes. Uh, I did quad phantoms against a dash Rourke. And I went just full. I didn't castle. I just did four straights on my first turn and burned down dash in one round. Mm -hmm. And it was over. <laughs> <laughs> Fastest game I've ever played. All right. These M3As have boxed in Dengar. Dengar cannot sloop this turn because he's currently stressed. Facing the wrong way. Sad and alone. Yeah, he's in a he's in a bad way right now. He's with the swarm on the tail. Ryan, did you did you ever get a webcam? I did. You did. I did. I'd, I'd love to see your face at some point. Would you? I would. I gotta plug it in and stuff. I haven't. Um, but and maybe that, later today. Maybe yeah, we can. Later today. Don't maybe. be naked, okay? That's all yeah, I maybe ask. tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. We'll yeah. set it up. <laughs> because I am here naked. All right. <laughs> Spins for two. <laughs> Snake eyes, but has the focus. Yep. Mm, got another range three, a range two obstructed shot. So Dengar still got a little bit of hope. Only one hit. Oh, has a Drea reroll. Excuse me. Sure does. Can't forget about Drea. Okay. Only one hit still. Takes the Did damage. They hit him. I, I think that one, one two, three, one hole four, left. Five. One more left. One more. Oof. So a note: after this game, the players do have a bit of a break. Okay, it's not going to be very long, just because of some of the delays that we've had um, with TTT. But we should hopefully uh, be able to resolve those uh, and and get things moving. It will give us time to uh it will give us time to get everything ready and sorted for the next round which is great but the the wait in between this and the next round will be a little bit longer uh, especially because we do have <laughs> looks like we're probably gonna have quite a bit of time on our hands but what we will do is uh we'll have a little bit of extended time for giveaways we'll sure. uh we'll probably do a special marbles giveaway we'll do one of those and uh, maybe all my maybe... homies love marbles. Oh, they do. Hey, Dion. While we're getting to the tail end of this game, I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. Let's say a year ago, I posted this on our Facebook group, but I want to hear your opinion on this. Ooh. Uh, let's say a year ago, for whatever reason, a mysterious benefactor gave you fifty million dollars for the winner of this tournament. Oh, right. Cool. The, the qualifier, right? Whoever wins Coruscant, the qualifiers don't matter. It's only the the the, the winner, right? Mm -hmm. Just the, the raw winner gets fifty million dollars. And you announced this a year ago. Do you think any current or former X-Wing player before the tournament announced would have won that tournament or somebody else would have? Um, I think, is, is it an in-person tournament? or, or, or No, no, like no literally basically this one? just this. The same exact thing. 
This one, I yeah. I honestly have the faith that a current X Wing player would win just on raw skill and intuition because it doesn't matter. Um, here's here's a reality, right? You you can you can be a hardcore gamer and be really smart, uh, but if you don't have X Wing instincts, you can make a lot of mistakes real fast. I've seen some really hard people suck real bad at, at X Wing. <laughs> <laughs> and it just took it took them some time, but if it was you know if it was kind of a sudden thing and people didn't really have time to practice, I I have faith in our in our aces our community aces that they would be able to take it. I disagree. Yeah, <laughs> no faith at all. Yeah? I think some turbo nerd Starcraft player some someone would put like ten out fifty million dollars is so much money. I think someone else would come in and outside of the community and crack the x-wing code some chess grandmaster or something some master like big brain dude um that's my I, opinion but you know what i love your optimism dion and this is there's variance in this game i would love that person just to get diced in the yeah I mean, yeah it's, it's true yeah but i i really believe that uh someone else if they had the time would come in and just eviscerate it yep but but I really think if, if that benefactor came to me and I was like I was like hey man can we hold on to this 50 mil till the uh gold squadron grand championship that hopefully happens in 2021 in person right. <laughs> please <laughs> absolutely all right so we have um Dengar, Dengar still whiffing again it. spends the the target lock there yep It's only one Andrea. Yep. Very rough stuff. And that's right there. Uh, XY being very conservative, actually spending the token on defense. Yeah. Conserving that MOV. Okay. One hit, one focus, one blank. Trail mix. Spends a lock. This could be it right here. Two hits. You need the natties. Don't get them. No, anti natties. No her <laughs> anti natties. All righty. Well, congratulations to XY winning well, no, that. Does Dengar get to fire back before he's taken off the board? Oh, this I think is he does. very true. This is very true. He does get. Yeah, he does get one final reroll. Some MOV purposes. But get yourself doesn't, some half. doesn't get the half. Always uh, worth it though to see if you can get half on someone, right? But that's yeah. right. So uh, looks like X Y had three ships. The line was at one and a half. That is, of course, the over. We'll go ahead. I knew I should have said it at two and a half. As soon as I said that, I felt like that was a better line. I should have <laughs> said two and a half. Can we keep doing that lines thing? That's really fun. Uh, we it the, so basically the the bot doesn't let it lets me either do choose my champion or. Set the line. It's like one at one or the other. I think the line is more fun personally. <laughs> but maybe we could, you're the you're the king. I I, you're the I am. King. I am the king. But I li I listen. I listen. <laughs> it's only more fun because it means I get to be involved more. It's entirely selfish. Like, <laughs> this, this is not like me like saying what's better for the cat. <laughs> this is me just being like very selfish. Uh, you know what? I think it's. Um, I think. It, it, Legitimately, matchup to matchup, it could be.